welcome back. I got some new lifters from Seal Power for the C20, the 350 and the C20 here. So hopefully we'll get rid of that hideous noise. I'm gonna rip the intake off and get the new lifters in. No more screwing around. Time to get this thing done and back on the road. Alright guys, I got one of the lifters out that was really loose, and boy am I happy to show you guys this. So see the plunger in there? Look at that just fell right open. If I tap it a little bit, boom, back down. There's supposed to be a spring in there that holds that up. So when there's no oil in there, it stays up. Freaking gone. Now you guys can't see it, but I'll show you in a second. There's a lot of metal in the motor. I hope it didn't go through the bearings too bad, but I'm going to be changing the oil, obviously. But uh, I know where that came from, and I'll show you what it looks like now. So it definitely came from the, uh, bear with me here, definitely came from the lifters, but it's more powder than anything. I don't think it would have hurt it. So I'll change the oil. I, I think I caught everything soon enough. So lifters will come out. Put everything back together, change the oil. I got my Rotella T4 like I want. But yeah, I'd say it's junk. And if I look in there closely, give me two seconds to grab the light. Let me look in there closely. Yep. Yep, see the oil in there? See the color? Hmm, kind of looks like what's in there. I'd say the lifters are bad. But otherwise, I'm going to keep digging into this thing. I want to get this thing fired up tonight yet, so let's get to it. got some bad news lots of metal in there and look what we have here we have a case of shitty lifters taking out the camshaft within the startup I did everything right I did everything like it the instructions said I did everything like you're supposed to I made sure I had resources to make sure I did it right, and it's done wrong, I guess. Or I got cheap parts from a crappy eBay seller that's going to get a message tonight, but we're not going to talk about that on here. Um, so as far as this thing goes, I think that's going to be a wrap on this truck. Um, if anything happens, it's going to get my run stand motor thrown in here for now because I do have license and insurance on this truck and it's just sitting here so that's great but um as far as the next video the next video i can tell you for sure is going to be on the brown truck here i got to put the seals in the transfer case and then i have the new headers the new stainless steels headers headers for it i also have to put a carburetor on it but i just got a call about the transmission they're ordering the parts so the transmission is going to be here soon so 
it's time to crunch on getting the brown truck going um i don't know what i'm gonna necessarily call this thing but um it's i did a motor in it uh it's stock cam it just got an intake dress up kit and a car four barrel carp and stuff like that um stout little motor runs good so we'll get this thing back together and going uh it's primarily going to be focused on the 203 to 205 swap uh so other people outside of my channel can find the video if they need to so it might be worded a little different for you uh current subscribers but hey gotta do what we gotta do so all right guys that's a wrap uh c20 going under the covers for now might get a little bit of work done on it but it ain't gonna be on camera because it ain't worth my time to show it on camera because it's done for so all that metal went through the motor that motor needs a rebuild i'm just gonna call it call it that now so i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed because i didn't but like comment tell me how i'm doing thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one